everybody. Welcome to Brick Vault. Today we are going to be going through every single Lego movie minifigure ever made. That is over a hundred unique characters to go through, so there's going to be a lot of guys to cover. I'm going to be going through the collection chronologically from when they were released, what sets they came out in, and how much they are worth, but I won't be describing them in detail quite as much just because there's so many to go through in this video. I will say right off the bat that I'm really happy with the wide, wide variety of different kinds of fun characters that you can get from this collection. And let's start off with the very first figs from the first set, going from at least the set number. This is from the Getaway Glider. We've got the Sheriff, not a robot, Deputron, which is uh, an interesting way of not saying Robocop. And then Emmett with a lopsided smile and a closed mouth, a piece of resistance on his back. He also appeared in five other sets. Respectively, they are $3, $2, and $3 again. Then in the Melting Room set, we get Wild Style with a hood that goes all the way up and a Robo Swat. They are respectively $4 and $2. Then the first version of Bad Cop appeared in Bad Cop's Pursuit. This guy also appeared in a press kit. He's four bucks. Then we get a slightly different version of Emmett and the most common version of Wild Style in the Cloud Cuckoo Palace set. Emmett is five here, Wild Style is six. And then from the same set, we also got the Executron and a Unikitty as well. Executron might be one of the coolest figs from this set. He's just so simple and fun as a bad guy. He's just three bucks, while this version of Unikitty with that particular expression is 13. Then for the next set it was the ice cream machine. We got three new figs. Two were the ice cream people, ice cream Mike and ice cream Joe, plus cardio carry in her sort of 80s workout getup. Each are around three dollars. And then the Trash Chopper set came out with a couple of Garbage Men plus a Chef. Technically, we've got Garbage Man Dan in a baseball cap, Garbage Man Grant with the beard, and Gordon Zola is the name of the Chef. These guys are around four or five bucks each. And then exclusive to the Castle Cavalry set, we have the Gallant Guard and Sharon Shoehorn. You're gonna notice we get a lot of great names for the characters in this movie. And you'll also notice that the prints for a lot of their bodies are based on previous old collections like the knight and I believe also the torso print for Sharon Shoehorn. They're around three or four bucks. Then Metal Beard's dual set came with a Robo Swat with helmet, Frank the Foreman, and a Robo Skeleton. They're each around three dollars and we have the Super Cycle Chase set. All the exclusive guys for this were three different versions of Robo Swat dudes, some with vests, other ones with goggles and stuff. All in all, a fun sort of villain to have as a minifigure in my personal opinion, and they each go for four dollars. Now this is a fun one, Lord Business's Evil Lair gave way to four figs, though we're going to look at these three first. We've got Ma Cop, Paw Cop, and El Macho Wrestler. The Ma and Paw Cop have pretty basic prints that make up their bodies, but kind of funny prints for the faces. They're each $3. Macho Wrestler is 5 bucks. He has printing that's pretty good, almost as good as what we might get from a collectible figure series, so he's closer to 5 and then we get Lord Business, and this is Lord Business completely decked out in his business armor, his business suit, the really, really giant build for the legs and the ridiculous helmet with the coffee mugs. His cape is basically just a really big tie. It goes down super, super long. Only really works if you have the uh, Lego build for the legs on the bottom. All in all, with everything here built up, he is 32 bucks, which makes him almost the most expensive figure from the collection. And I said there was four in this set. There's actually six exclusive just to this one. We've got Vitruvius as well as Business Kitty. Business Kitty is 15 bucks. You can see just the different stuff drawn all over her body. And this version of Vitruvius is 10 bucks. He also came out in Metalbeard's Sea Cow set, which is the next one actually coming up. So Emmett came from this set. This Emmett has a slightly different expression. He's five bucks. And then Queasy Kitty is $45, making her the most expensive fig from this collection. Her body is a completely different set of colors, and the print shows that she's basically about to puke, or maybe that she has been puking. Also, this is the first time we get Benny. He appeared in two other sets from here, but you can see he's got that uh, helmet piece that has been molded to look like it's been broken, and also the print on his chest is a very faded version of a classic space fig. He's $5, and let's move on to the Flying Flusher set. Included here is Plumber Joe. 
Joe, Alfie the Apprentice, and Dr. McScrubs. Plumber Joe can be seen because he's got the cap and he looks a little bit older. Both of these guys though are three bucks, while Dr. McScrubs for some odd reason is listed at 19 or 20. The chest piece, the torso piece, does have an exclusive print for him though. Uh, I can't really tell exactly why he's listed at such a high price compared to so many of the other relatively inexpensive figures from this collection. That is something I don't know. Anyways, let's move on to the Creative Ambush set. These first two figs are Executive Ellen and Kebab Bob. The stern looking businesswoman is around $3 while Kebab Bob is $4. That is not an exclusive print for the chest slash uh, for the torso and leg pieces, but the Kebab print on the hat definitely is. And then the other two figs from the Creative Ambush are Suds Backwash and Root Beer Bell. Really great names for these guys and also good looking prints. Suds is $4 while Root Beer Bell is six. Really nice print that makes up the dress on the front. Then the Rescue Reinforcement set also gave way to four figures exclusive just to this set. Blaze Firefighter looks very similar to other city firefighters that came out during this time. The Blacktron fan is really cool. I know a lot of people like him. He's a little bit more being five bucks. And then the Fabuland fan is even more <laughs> expensive. She's got a really good print that shows the Fabuland Fabuland logo on the front. She is $7. And then Hank Haysack has probably one of the best minifigure face prints uh, from the entire collection. He's three bucks. And then the Emmett's Constructo mech gives way to two exclusive figs. Emmett just has slightly different facial expressions, so he's exclusive to this set. Plus, he also came out in a 2015 fun pack for LEGO Dimensions. And then this set also has the Angry Kitty. I know a lot of people like the Angry Kitty version of Unikitty the best. She is $20 here, believe it or not. And then the Super Secret Police Dropship set has more figures that are technically exclusive to this set than any others from the entire collection. Going in groups of two, these guys here definitely aren't based on any other previous collections. Just kidding, we've got the Green Ninja and Johnny Thunder. Personally, I think Johnny Thunder is way cooler because we haven't gotten a version of this guy in a very, very long time, but the Green Ninja is $6 while Johnny Thunder is three. Then these versions of Robo Swat are ever so slightly different from other guys. I think it's just like a neck bracket is included and a different combination of armor pieces and face pieces for these guys they're both three bucks then interestingly enough this emmet is uh slightly different because he comes with a piece of resistance plate on his leg which makes him exclusive somehow he's three bucks and then this is the last robo swat guy with a knit cap pretty much all these guys with three bucks from the set and then here is arguably one of the coolest sets from the entire wave of sets that came from the lego movie this is benny's spaceship 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 Robot Emmett is included with a funny robot Emmett face. He's four bucks. Space Wild Style basically just has her clothes but in blue, so it's a spacesuit version. <laughs> She's five bucks. This is a Robo Pilot with a pretty sweet print for the body and face. I like that little nod for the Octan. He's three dollars. Astro Kitty also in blue is eleven dollars. Then we get a couple of Benny's Spaceship Robots based off classic space build designs. They're each a dollar. And then from the Batman and Super Angry Kitty attack set, we get Super Angry Kitty. The facial expression shows the difference from the last Angry Kitty. She's six bucks. And also Batman was here. He's seven bucks. And if you want to see more Batman stuff, just check out our Batman collection videos. And then five figures are exclusive to this set. This is the Double Decker Couch set. The Trivious Ghost was a really fun part of the movie. This is awesome. He's actually got a little kind of halo thing around his head. This figure is actually a lot of fun. I like him a lot. He's just four bucks. This is the Puzzled Face for Unikitty. That exclusive face print makes her five dollars. Benny has closed eyes in this set. He's four bucks. President Business has a smile on his face and a raised unibrow. Three bucks. And then this is just a, another slightly different version of Emmett being two dollars. The bad cop car chase seat gave way to these three figs. Just another type of robo swat with a different kind of body armor. Wild Style has an open mouth face print. She also appeared in the starter pack for Dimensions. And then the bad cop here has some alternate expressions and he also appeared in a different dimensions pack. The Robo Swat dude is four bucks, Wild Style three, Bad Cop two, and then interestingly enough this Unikitty came from a Dimensions fun pack.
back. Her face is different. She is five bucks. And by the way, those last few figs were from 2015. All right, so that was all the different sets that minifigures came out in, but there were plenty of exclusive figures that came out uh, in different ways, like poly bags and activity books and the such. Technically, this Robo SWAT with knit cap guy, this version of him actually appeared in the Piece of Resistance Stories Activity Lego movie book in 2013. So he is the earliest version of any Lego movie character. Then this version of Emmett came out in the Piece of Resistance poly bag. He's four bucks. This is the Pajamas Emmett coming out in the Pajama Emmett poly bag. He is ten dollars. Radio DJ was from a poly bag. He's thirteen bucks. And Western Emmett with a mustache and poncho also came out in a poly bag, being ten dollars. Here is a six dollar version of Vitruvius with regular eyes, not the white eyes. He appeared in several different versions of DVD releases. Then there were some slightly different versions of characters released in a Lego Movie press kit set. This version of Batman has no cape. He's seven bucks. Wild Style with no hood is around four dollars. President Business has a slightly button jacket open mouth with uh, seven dollars attached to him. Ice Cream Joe with reddish brown hair. So it's all slightly different versions of characters we've already had. She's six bucks. Vitruvius here is around twenty dollars. Interestingly enough, he's got white legs instead of the gown piece. And then this is just a slightly different version of Emmett again, three bucks. Now here's the other exclusive release of Unikitty. This is the Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con 2014 exclusive figure. The two expressions for her face are both unique and a new version of her on eBay in the packaging goes for around $225. So technically, yeah, she is the most expensive fig from this collection, but San Diego Comic-Con figs, it's always hard to try to lump them into the same group as everybody else. She's somewhat of an outlier. Now, let's check out the last figures. They all came from the collectible minifigure series for the Lego movie. Going as quickly as possible, we've got Calamity Drone, eight dollars larry the barista five bucks velma staple bot five dollars taco tuesday guy eight bucks where is my pants guy for five dollars wiley fuse bot three bucks panda guy uh he's nine bucks i like that guy a lot and then Marsha, Queen of the Mermaids is $12. Here's another version of President Business, three bucks. Hard Hat Emmett, four bucks. Wild Style in Western clothes is $5. Abraham Lincoln is the most expensive from this collection coming in at 15 bucks. Then Mrs. Scratch and Post is nine bucks, the cat lady. Scribble Face Bad Cop is $4. Sorry, William Shakespeare is actually the most expensive from this collection coming in at $20, my mistake. Then we got Gail, the construction worker for Five bucks, and I left these two guys for the end because I wasn't really sure uh, if they technically counted as minifigures, but they are characters, and I'm gonna probably include their numbers in the final count. We've got two different versions of Metalbeard. Metalbeard's Sea Cow has a smaller brick-built version of him. I don't know what he would cost if you kind of combined all the pieces of his body together, but I do know that the head is a couple of bucks. He's a really cool-looking version of this guy, but maybe not quite as cool as the way bigger mechanized or more mechanized version of him. He's actually the primary build of the Metal Beards dual set, and he's a pretty fun looking robot for sure, having double cannons on one arm and a shark fist on the other. You'll be lucky to get a used version of this set under 40 bucks. He's over half of what the pieces are in it. I'm not really sure how to price him out, but he's a really cool looking character slash figure, brick built figure at best. Anyways, that does it for the entire collection of the Lego movie. This is probably one of the biggest amounts of figures that we've ever tried to knock out in one single video and actually showing them individually with all of their sets and prices and things like that. So this was a lot of fun for Mike to edit. And guys, let us know in the comment section below what kinds of collections you wanna see us doing in the future. These are always really cool videos for us to do, and it's kind of fun gathering all the information together and sort of turning it into one concise video for anybody to be able to reference. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching everybody. If you made it this far in the video, uh, double thanks. And if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. We'll see you next time at Brick Vault. 
Hey everybody, wanted to pop in really quick, let you guys know that we've got a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome Lego mocks. It's definitely worth checking out. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that create these amazing Lego builds. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Remember that's www.brickvault.toys, and uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.